I want to show you a little demonstration I put together that takes advantage of large language models, but also helps to deal with the non-deterministic behavior of large language models. Non-determinism both in terms of latency and response. So what I did is I put together a system that basically uh, takes data or takes a bunch of messages via a file intake and drops it into an intake topic. These are all Kafka topics. And then it applies structure to it using a large language model, meaning tries to interpret what's in that text and pulls out relevant data because you need structure in order to write programs around it. And then it applies the Guardian model. And I could maybe have done the Guardian before the structure, but in this case, the Guardian model will look for things like hate speech, profanity. And if, by the way, if anything gets rejected, it goes to the review topic you see at the bottom here. Once I have a structure, I've you know, verified that the thing doesn't have any hate speech or profanity. Then I do a customer lookup against a, re a relational database, the enterprise database. Once I have all that information uh, and that enrichment with the customer database information, I then can route it to the appropriate support team. And based on the message content and what we saw from the database, it goes either to support, finance, or website. The support team, uh, of course, has a RAG-based K-base. So this will basically take what the input is, look at the RAG-based uh, database context and, and give the appropriate response. Or if it's website, uh, apply the password reset, right? So in other words, look for website-related issues and call a tool that performs that API call. So there's a lot going on here and it's gonna look complicated, but kinda need to see this picture, keep this picture in mind when we go through it. So let's see if this thing works. So let me go over here. I'm gonna bring up my terminals. I have a bunch of things running here. So this is the initial intake up here. This is the structured output. This is the clearance through uh, Guardian, the guardrails being applied. This is the customer lookup. So the, the main chunks of the system apply here. Once we get through that, then here's the router, where the router might go to uh, support, finance, or website. Here's the support system. So the input, the support system, which of course applies the RAG and the output. And then here's the website uh, up, uh, input right the uh, the process here the tool invocation which is the API itself that's been called the enterprise API and all that goes to outflow so outflow is where things go if things are good review is where things go if things fail so let's go ahead and pump a message in here and I just have some messages set out here so I can just kind of come over here and try some things let's try the password reset real quick so we're gonna push that file over to intake there's the intake process running there. You can see this is the actual forgot password request from a customer called Thomas Hardy. Uh, it's got to basically apply the structured output, right? So in other words, it's going to extract structured output from that. That takes a few seconds because it's got to call the LLM uh, to make that call. There it goes. And now it's going to go up here to see if it uh, can get through the guardrails. And so again, it's going to look at that message and it looks like it got through the guardrails. And then it did the customer lookup. See this around the horn? That came from the customer lookup. Uh, the UK, this ID came from the database. Over here on the routing side, it is still processing because it's looking at that to determine is it a support request, a finance request, or a website request. Finance request might be things like I, I'm missing an invoice, I'm missing a receipt, I have a duplicate payment, you know, double charging my credit card. Support request is something, uh, you know, uh, for the k-base in this case it did move on to uh, website so uh, on the website side and here you can see it did call the api for password reset and uh, and then of course made it to the outflow and we had no error let's double check no error because otherwise we would show up in review all right so that was the entire end and flow let's go back and look at our chart real quick one more time uh, here okay so that one was you know the message came in structure was applied Guardrails applied, database lookup applied, routed accordingly down to website, out to the password reset, tool API invoked, and out to outflow when all things are good. All right, so let's try another one. Let's actually go down the support path, okay? The tech support path. So let's go back over here and I would send in a different message. Let's see here. Let's, so we're gonna CP the tech support one text and dot dot and take. So it's just gotta drop into the right folder where we have a process running. So let's see here. All right, so text port's already pulled up. It's applying the structure to it right now. Okay, so again, it's got to interpret that message, try to extract structured output. Uh, and that's what this process is right now. Again, the LLM call takes a non-deterministic amount of time. And you can, by the way, I, I set this up so I can change models on the fly 
if need be. And of course, I can reroute everything if necessary by using the Kafka topics. So now it's looking at guardrails. Let's see if it clears guardrails. Looks like it did. And then it cleared uh, the, the database lookup. So there's the cracker box. Again, stuff that came in from the relational database. Over here on the router now, let's see if it gets routed to the correct place. Um, because this is a tech support question for a product that we sell, Tech Gear Pro Laptop. That was actually part of the structured output was the what product is involved here as an example. And the question from the customer, there it goes to the support team. If we look over here on the support side, there is um, the, the context that already came from the RAG database, the vector database, PG vector in this case. And then it has to formulate that, call the LLM call, uh, and then go to Outflow. So in other words, it's going to take that structured output, uh, sorry, the RAG context, and then uh, give the appropriate information, say yours, tech support assistant here. Uh, you know, So it's going to basically send that on to the customer uh, automatically. So that is an example of my agentic system. Now let me pull this back up one more time. Uh, oh, I lost the screen that I had this on right here. And right, so an end-to-end -end agentic system that's all event-driven architecture using Kafka topics to deal with non-deterministic uh, latency associated with all these LLM calls. And then, you know, if I have problems along the way, it does get sent to review. Um, like, well, let's show that. Let's see. Let's show that while we're here. Let's see. Nothing showed up in review yet, but I do have some things that I that aren't appropriate, meaning uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't, the system doesn't handle it yet. So like if a customer calls in on a bulk order, let's try that. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see that one. So bulk order, which is they're not a customer yet. They're a prospect. And uh, this, so the prospect won't be found in our corporate database. So here it again, a structured output happening right here. And then we'll apply the guardrails next. But so you can kind of see, uh, you know, I'd like, a per I'd like to issue a purchase order. I need a discount for 50 to 100 users. Uh, it should be clear. There shouldn't be any nasty stuff in there. No profanity, things like that. Uh, so it should get to cleared. All right. No database lookup. Okay. And let's see. And here it is over here in the review topic because the database lookup failed. It's not a customer. It's a prospect. So now I, but I at least have that information captured. The system is fully auditable and explainable. And I can now apply whatever new models I want to what's in the review topic to decide, oh, I now want to handle prospects or I want to deal with this other situation, other use case. All right, that's how the demo works today. Uh, I'll, I'll be putting more effort in over the next several days.